Modern video editing apps offer hundreds of different visual effects to choose from. All of them can improve the visuals of your video and effectively attract the viewer's attention. Yet, the question still remains, which effects should you use and how to understand which one is right for you? So to make things easier for you, I've come up with five universally effective effects. Usually these effects are included in any video editor, so you should have no trouble finding them. Let's get started. As I said, in this video, I will show you five free effects that will make your video visually more interesting. I will also show you the way to keep these effects at hand so that you don't have to search for them among many other options each time. For starters, let me remind you how to apply effects to your video in general. Open the Effects tab, which is usually located on the right and on the top of the app's interface. Once you're there, simply click on the effects of your choice. In the preview window, you can see how it will look like. So this will give you the idea of how these effects will work for your project. Then drag the effect of your choice directly onto the clip on the timeline. Then adjust the intensity and other parameters in the settings. I recommend using effects only for short shots so that they act as an accident, only highlighting certain elements of the video. If your effects are too long, you risk losing the dynamics and as the result, the viewer's interest. Now let me show you the first effect. In the search bar, find the color filter that turns color video into black and white. This is a very basic trick that bloggers use as a visual cue to separate the main story from more of a flashback or something behind the scenes. It becomes a kind of a hint for the audience. When the viewer suddenly loses color, viewers instantly understand that something unplanned is about to happen. For example, if a person in a video, for example, stumbles during filming or says something funny and inappropriate, applying a black and white filter can highlight these moments, separate them from the main story. This creates something like a behind the scenes effect, allowing viewers to peek into the real life behind the video and laugh at the imperfections. For a slightly different effect, you can set the intensity to 50%, which will give your video a halftone color palette. The colors will not be completely washed out, but will only become less saturated. So the video will look like a combination of a color and black and white with more muted, less vibrant colors. For flashbacks or memories, this is definitely one of the best effects I can think of. In Mobavi Video Editor, the effect is called Atom. To make applying it faster, just click on this heart icon and it will be saved to your favorites. Then, each time, instead of searching for the effect, you'll just go to favorites and find it there. Pretty convenient. Now, it's a golden moment to kick off your YouTube journey. Get all the goods to craft top-notch videos with ease. Huawei Unlimited is all-in-one solution that has got everything you need. If you've been struggling with a large amount of footage shot on your phone, Movavi has you covered. With its easy-to-use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into a more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Movavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor that lets you get creative with your video thumbnails. You can crop, resize, apply filters and add text, stickers and frames to images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So, if you're tired of the struggles that comes with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, I highly recommend giving Movavi Unlimited a try. So why wait for the stars to align? Dive in now and score up to an incredible 85% off on Movavi's finest apps for a limited time only. Don't miss it out, click that link below and seize the savings today. So the next effect that you should definitely use in your videos is flares, aka lens flares. In real life, we often see glare from light sources like sun or street lamps, so adding them to your video helps create a more realistic look, making the video much more immersive for the viewers. As it usually goes, for the maximum effect, you need to add flares with some degree or precision, only then they will improve the emotional response. Let's say we have a video of a surfer riding a wave. That's where the flares come in. They can act as a reflection of the sunlight on the water, making everything look more lively, especially the sea. These flickering light spots will make the viewers feel like they are part of the action as they themselves are riding through the waves under the bright sunlight. But don't think that the flares are only suitable for videos with water and surfing. That's just one example. Light flares can be a great way to make a shot more expressive by combining it with jump cuts or camera transitions. Try it yourself and you will see how this combo creates a sense of movement and dynamics out of thin air. Though I must warn you, creating videos that evoke a sense of presence and emotional response in viewers as if they are inside of the video is a skill that requires time to master, attention to detail, 
and the ability to creatively use the tools that are available. When using effects to create realism, you also need to remember about the way you're combining them with other elements of your video. The effects shouldn't look alien or artificial. They should fit into the overall mood and benefit the natural flow of the story. To make it simple, don't add effects for the sake of adding the effects. Ultimately, the goal of visual effects is not just to decorate the video, but to make it more genuine and alive. So so that the viewer can feel the same emotions and atmosphere that you experienced when standing behind the camera. The next effect on my list is vignettes. Adding vignettes is a great way to add emphasis to a video, especially when you need to highlight a specific object or person in the shot. When the edges of the frame are dark, the viewer's attention gets naturally directed to the center of the shot, where all the action is. It's like the theater, basically with the light focusing on the main actor and everything around plunged into semi-darkness. Vignette helps to create the additional depth making the shots a bit more complicated and thus more interesting to look at. This is especially effective when you need to tell a story without saying anything, using only visual. A video with vignetted corners almost always looks more sophisticated, and I seriously urge you to use this trick in your videos. It's a popular effect on YouTube, though newbies often forget about it. The vignetting can can be either very strong or barely noticeable, depending on the effect you want to achieve. Let's take a video with a surfer from earlier, for example. So the surfer finally manages to catch the wave and is now on top of it. The corners start getting darker and the viewer automatically focuses on him and his movements on the light reflections on the water. Now this shot is much more impactful than it was before. But don't think that vignette effect works only in dynamic scenes. It can also be pretty effective in more static or calmer shots. For example, when the surfer just sits on the board waiting for the right wave. I know by now you're pretty tired of the same surfer example, but I think showing all the effects on one video really emphasizes the multitude of options you have. In our case, the vignette emphasizes the calm moments of a person's self-reflection and some sort of unity with nature. Vignette is a very versatile effect that works great in all types of videos. You just have to know how to use it. And to know this, you need to practice with the clear question in mind. Where do I want to focus the viewer's attention? Now let me tell you about the fourth effect known as the VHS effect. As you can guess from its name, it recreates the feel of all VHS videos by simulating visual distortions, noise, flicker, and all those characteristic interferences that were typical for the cameras in the 90s and 80s. Let's say you're making another surfing video and alongside the modern footage of surfers catching the waves, you want to add a small piece that shows the history of surfing or some other moments from the past. That's where you can apply the VHF effect and create the illusion that what is happening on the screen is from the distant past. It's also a great way to add some fun to your videos. For example, when you want to emphasize the absurdity of the situations, use the VHS effect as a transition between the clips. The main goal is to be creative and always experiment. Try something new each time, find unique solutions to make your video stand out from the crowd. Finally, the last effect on my list is old movie. It mostly only changes the color palette. Colors become more muted, often with with the predominance of brown and green shades, kind of like an old film that old movies were shot on. Sometimes you can get some occasional grayness, uneven lighting, slight streaks or scratches. The effect does a really good job at mimicking the old film look. Using this vintage effect in a video can be a stylish solution and a great way to add some character to modern shots. For instance, this effect is great at creating a contrast between dynamic and calm moments in a video, where active and fast scenes are saturated with color, and in more quiet and slow-paced moments, the colors are muted. This adds more variety to the video, helping convey all the emotions you might have experienced while filming everything. With five more effects under your belt, which one do you like the most? All of them can make your video better in one way or another. The black and white filter is a great way to step away from the main theme of the video and let the viewers speak 
behind the scenes. The VHS effect helps with establishing different storylines and shifting the viewer's attention. The vignette creates a sense of depth and volume to the video, also effectively drives the viewer's eyes to the center of the shot. Lens flares add additional realism and dynamics, bringing the video to life. And the vintage camera effect adds some tranquility and calmness, great for separating different parts of the story. Each of these effects is unique in its own way and can be used individually or in combination with other effects. The main thing to remember is that all effects should organically fit into the stories you want to tell and convey the emotions you want to evoke in your audience. So the point is, don't add the effects just to add the effects. Always have a clear goal in mind. Thank you for watching and good luck with your videos.